Welcome to the Applied Analytics TM1 Tech Topics video on how to insert and modify a TM1 active form. In today's video, we'll show you how to insert an active form in Excel. We'll point out some key features of an active form, and we'll show you how to modify the report and insert more columns of data. In a blank Excel worksheet, choose the Insert button in the active form area of the TM1 ribbon. A dialog box appears showing the cube or cubes in your model and the saved views for each cube. Note, you must have saved views prior to inserting an active form. In this example, we'll choose the view Nonmetrics Bolt Revenue from the data cube. TM1 inserts the view in Excel as an active form and formats it with color, font sizes, and so on. The top left corner of the active form data grid contains the TM1 Excel function TM1 RPT row, also known as TM1 report row. This function controls the visible area of the active form. In the formula bar, you can see that it contains the subset non-metrics bolt revenue. Each time the report is updated, the function populates the report with the subset elements. As the subset changes, your report changes. A TM1 best practice tip, use a defined subset in the view row area. Let's modify the report so that the data is on both sides of the subset elements. Let's cut and paste the TM1 report row function to the right of the data. We would like the data in two columns to the left of the elements and in two columns to the right. So let's copy the DBRW function to those cells. Next, we'll copy the title rows above our new data cells. The data on the right side will be for year 2013 and the left side for year 2014. Our report will compare actual to budget data, so let's change the titles and adjust the column widths to make the report more readable. TM1 active forms have hidden rows at the top of the worksheet where the report formatting is stored. To display these rows, click the Show Format Area button in the active form area of the TM1 ribbon. Let's move the cursor to the top so that we can see the format area. When the active form was inserted in the worksheet, it created three Excel named ranges, which can be seen in the drop down list in the upper left of the worksheet grid. Let's choose the named range TM1 RPT FMT RNG, also known as the TM1 Report Format Range, which highlights the active form format range in the sheet. Because we changed our report to include more columns, we need to adjust the range area to match our report. From the Excel Formulas ribbon, choose the Name Manager button, which opens the workbook Define Name Ranges dialog box. Choose the TM1 Report Format Range and click the button in the lower right corner of the Refers To line. Using the cursor, highlight the range that includes all of the columns in the report. Close the Name Manager dialog box and save the changes. We can confirm our named range area by choosing it in the drop-down list in the upper left corner of the worksheet. The format range defines how the report will look. With the format range selected, activate the Excel Home ribbon and we'll choose a font size, remove the cell colors, and choose a number format. Let's hide the format area so that our report looks better. From the TM1 ribbon, click the Hide Format Area button. We are now ready to refresh our report and apply the changes. From the Active Form area of the TM1 ribbon, click the Rebuild Current Sheet button. The rebuild action applies the format range to the report, and the TM1 report row function performs three items. First, it deletes all active form rows below itself. Next, it populates its cell and the cells below with the elements found in the subset. And third, it writes DBRW functions in the worksheet for each row that contains subset elements. In the future, you can open the report, click the Rebuild Current Sheet button, and the report will be populated 
the subset elements and recalculate it. As the subset changes, your report changes. If the report is disseminated via TM1 Web, it will be automatically refreshed each time it is opened in a browser. I hope you enjoyed our TM1 Tech Topic video on how to insert an active form. Please visit our website for other TM1 Tech Topics, white papers, blog topics, webinars, and success stories. Our website says who we are, tm1experts.com. Thank you for watching.